Workers at that Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant say wind has forced them to halt a delicate operation. They say they had to suspend their mission to remove the cover of a reactor building when a gust of air damaged it. Workers have been spraying chemicals inside the cover to prevent radioactive substances from flying into the air. They plan to dismantle the cover, remove debris inside, and take out spent nuclear fuel stored in the building. It's an important step in the decommissioning process. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say a strong gust shifted a machine that was hanging from a crane. They say the machine tore a hole in the cover two meters long. The officials say radiation levels at the compound have not changed significantly, but they've suspended work as a precaution. They've notified central and local government officials, and they're discussing how to fix the problem. The Japanese government and Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say they'll need more time decommissioning the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Their current timetable calls for the process of removing spent fuel from the storage pool to begin in 2017 and removing melted fuel to start three years after that. But officials have revised their plans. They say they'll now start to extract the spent fuel in 2019 and melted fuel in 2025. Radioactive rubble has accumulated inside the number one reactor since the March 2011 nuclear accident. Workers began dismantling the cover of the building this month to remove the debris. But their full-fledged work to dismantle the cover will not take place until March of next year, resulting in a delay of more than six months. Officials say to remove the spent and melted fuel, they'll need to build new facilities and cranes. And they say that will take time to do. The current timetable says complete decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi plant will take 30 to 40 years. A group of international nuclear experts have inspected the decommissioning efforts of the, at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. The experts include a former chief of Britain's Office for Nuclear Regulation, Mike Waitman. The four specialize in supervising scrapping efforts and treating water contaminated with radioactive substances. They looked at the contaminated water processing system known as ALPS, and they went inside the plant's number four reactor building to see the pool of spent fuel. They were told that all fuel rods at the reactor will be transferred from the pool within this year. I've been tremendously impressed by the progress that's been made there and I can only admire the efforts that's going on there and the skill of the people there and their dedication to their task. It's most impressive. The government and the plant's operators say scrapping the plant would take about 40 years. The work includes the difficult task of removing melted nuclear fuel from three other reactors. Voters in Fukushima went to the polls over the weekend. They cast ballots in the prefecture's first election for governor since the 2011 nuclear accident. NHK World's Kiyoshi Inada reports on the challenges facing the newly elected leader. I'll devote my heart and soul to Fukushima's revival. Fukushima's next governor is Masao Uchibori. The 50-year-old is a former central government official who served as the prefecture's vice governor for eight years. Sunday's election drew a record six candidates. Uchibori campaigned as the de facto successor to outgoing governor Yuhei Sato. Uchibori was the front-runner throughout the campaign. He had the backing of the governing Liberal Democratic Party. The main opposition Democratic Party supported him as well. A number of pressing tasks await Uchibori's attention. I hope he'll bring more tourists to the area and help boost the economy. It's essential that the land is decontaminated. Kids need places to play on the ground without worrying. Many people have experienced mental suffering. They need that kind of care. One big job is dealing with radioactive waste gathered through decontamination work. The waste is now being stored at more than 50,000 locations across the prefecture.
and some are within residential areas. The central government plans to build intermediate storage facilities near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Officials want to begin moving the waste there as soon as January. But the land set aside for the storage facilities belongs to more than 2,000 different owners. Government officials have been able to reach only half of them. And many landowners are unhappy with the terms proposed by the government for buying or using their property. The new governor will have to deal with both sides. Uchibori will also oversee the decommissioning of the Fukushima Daini nuclear plant. It's located some 10 kilometers south of the crippled Daiichi plant. Residents are growing impatient. They are calling on the incoming governor to push the central government and the plant's operator to get the ball rolling. Uchibori will have to work with the central government on several other issues. He'll seek ways to push ahead on decontaminating areas around the crippled plant. He'll also try to get extensions on special budget allocations for the prefecture's reconstruction. Rebuilding the lives of evacuees and reconstructing areas affected by the accident will be crucial for this prefecture. And I believe, as governor of Fukushima, my mission is to tell everyone how important it is to create a society that doesn't rely on nuclear power. Uchibori demonstrated solid abilities as an administrator during his tenure as vice governor. Now voters have chosen him to lead for the next four years. He'll be under pressure to deliver tangible results to the people of Fukushima. Kiyoshinara, NHK World, Fukushima. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited Fukushima Prefecture on Saturday, three days before the third anniversary of the earthquake, tsunami and nuclear disasters. In Tamura City, Abe met with residents of Miyakoji District. They'll be allowed to return to their homes on April 1st when an evacuation order for the district is expected to be lifted. It will be the first evacuation order lifted since the nuclear accident. Abe asked residents to express their thoughts. One of them said he wants the government to consider building playgrounds for children as schools will reopen. Abe also visited a center for tourism and local products in Iwaki City. He tasted freshly caught fish and squid that were captured as part of a test program being carried out to check radiation levels in marine products. Abe pledged to do his best to allay concerns about radioactive contamination of food products. He inspected a site in Ogawara district, Okuma town. As part of efforts to rebuild the region, there's a plan to build facilities to study decontamination and the decommissioning of reactors. During this visit to Fukushima, I can feel that recovery has begun progressing. Abe also said he will do his best to rebuild the prefecture as he thinks there will be no revival for Japan without the reconstruction of Fukushima.
are merely a few minutes older, but infinitely more knowledgeable than before.